Right, this is just a quick overview of um, my DIY almost flow hood. We've got three large equipment fans in the top to get enough air pressure. The filter here is from uh, a household air purifier and they come in very much different qualities. This Philips um, has got very fine particulate size as you can tell by all the crap that it's already taken out of the room. Uh, and uh, having a look at the, the model of air purifier that that came from gives you an idea of it says the size of uh, motor in wattage unfortunately not uh, meters per second so um, I matched the amount of wattage give or take with the amount of fans here now inside very important these baffles here I found without the baffles when there was this gap exposed on the inside it was setting up turbulence there was vortexes coming up swirling around and then dropping back down so everything was ended ended up getting stirred and then falling back down which is exactly what you don't want so let's light up some uh, toilet roll and just try a bit of a smoke test in there and you see the smoke's going directly down until you get right to the edge there and you can see some is starting to come up in vortexes so it's only safe to use the, the main central area nothing too close here in fact that that's good as gold until we get up here and then you can see the vortex is starting and now the entire box fills with smoke back out to here and all the smoke's going where it should so that's just an overview of what I've done there cost about a hundred pound in materials and a fair bit of time mucking around trying to get it working just right but it's an almost flow hood and uh, the the air's HEPA clean and a Petri dish agar test shows that there's no contaminants getting through and this this is a filthy room I mean there's actually plants growing through the holes in the wall from outside and old keyboards and dirt and dust and junk so if there was anything it coming through that hood the agar would definitely be contaminated so there you go try and make one at your peril